this lesson, I'm going to show you the finger picking part to the song Scandal of Grace that sounds like this. You'll notice I'm capo four using G chord family chords. So let's hop right in. I'm going to start with the G shape. It's actually going to be kind of an open, so it's a G. But my melody note is on the second string. And the way you can play this as far as your right hand with picking, your thumb always gets the bass note, so it's going to get that low E. And then what you can do is take your middle finger, place it on the second string pointer right above on the third. And with my G on my left hand, I'm going to have my middle finger get the bass note like I always do, but you really don't need the others yet. And this is going to free up uh, your other fingers to get some, some of the other notes. So you're going to start with bass note, your thumb, and your middle. So that's low E and the second string together. And then your thumb is going to alternate, jump down to the D string or the fourth. together and then alternating thumb gets that D and then your pointer finger is going to get second fret of the third string and you're going to alternate back with your thumb again same place on that D and then again on that uh, second string open now once you hit that second string open you can just let that ring out or you can play kind of a ghost note if you want to play maybe the third string open or that D string or the fourth string open, you can play that too. So that's the part with G. Now we're going to jump to a C chord and this is not a C2 but a, a regular C chord. Same deal here, you're going to play your bass note and then middle finger on the second string. And that's kind of your melody for this intro lick. So once you play those together, you're going to play your middle strings, so that D and the G, or fourth and the third. And then your pinky is going to hold down the third fret of your little string for that high melody note. So let me give you a reference for where we are. So it's kind of one, two, three, and then that high note. And then you're going to alternate back after that high note with the G open. And let me mention too with this, that together string that you play first with the C chord. If you want to hammer on, you can. You don't need to, you can just play it or you can hammer on zero one. Now from here, you go into the next part, which is an E minor shape. So uh, it's pretty easy uh, to start out on this chord. You're going to play an E minor 7 really. Just your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string or your fifth string. That's all you need to start. And the shape of this uh, pattern is going to be the same as what you did with the G, but it's just an E minor 7 or an E minor. So together, middle finger on that second string and then thumb of course that low bass note together. Your thumb's going to jump back down to that D string to, to alternate and to get there. And same deal, that middle finger is going to get the second fret of the third string. This is what happened in your G chord. It's happening also on this E minor chord. Back to that thumb and then back to that second string open. Now 
remember I said on the G chord you could play a little ghost note, a real quick note there that's within the chord. Same thing here if you want to come back to that D string open you can do that. We're almost done. We're back to a C chord, but it's a little different this time. So you're going to play a C. Instead of playing that high uh, second string, you're going to play the third with the bass note. Because that's where your melody note is for the lick. But you still do the walk up. So you play the third string and fifth string together. And then walk up. Um, the only difference with the walk up is instead of just a C chord, you need to add your pinky on the third fret of the second string. So it's a C, but that pinky gets here. So together, and you're just walking right up, fourth string, third string, second. And then you can hop back to either the third or the fourth. It's kind of a bounce back note. That's it. That's the whole deal. So I'm going to play, play it all the way through a little slow and then we'll play it full speed. And here's uh, the same thing all the way through a little quicker. As you are playing through this and learning it, you're kind of emphasizing those melody notes as you play them. So just kind of think of the uh, of the line and that signature lick as you play it, and make sure you emphasize it. So practice it a few times, and you'll have it in your time. Okay. 